Hey guys, just wanted to come and make this quick audio, you know, just to encourage you guys, you know, we are saved by grace through faith, Ephesians 2, verse 8 to 9, um, great one, man. Another good Bible verse is John three sixteen, and then we got Romans 8, verse 30 to 38, I mean, good Bible verses, man. You know, last year I spent most of the year dealing with the, the fear of, I wasn't saved last year. I didn't even know the gospel. I mean, I heard it, but I, I was just led into so much. And, you know, um, anyway, you know, our assurance is in Jesus Christ all the way, guys. You know, here is the gospel. You know, Jesus, let me tell you, you know, Jesus, you know, who is God? Jesus, who is God? He came on this earth. He became the sacrifice for us all born of the Virgin Mary, he loved us all, and he forgives us of all of our sin, he's the eternal son of God, he's the son of God, and he gives one life to every man, that is eternal life, here's the gospel, if you have not yet believed in Jesus, or been wondering, he loves you, and you know, we sin, the Bible says in Romans 3 verse 23, for the way to, uh, it says, for all have sinned, and come short of the glory of God, and then Romans 6 verse 23 says, for the way to sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. You see, wages of sin is death. But in God's love, he sent Christ and Christ died. Here's the gospel. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, was buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures. So, do you believe in that? He died, Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, was buried and rose again the third day. Believe in that. Have you believed in that? Well, when we hear the gospel and believe, we are saved. It tells us this in Ephesians, if I'm correct, Ephesians uh, 12 to 14. Uh, but we are saved. You know, we hear the gospel and we are saved. And we are sealed with the Holy Spirit. You know, um, you can't lose it. If you're sealed with something, there's no verse that says you can lose it. Um, and, you know, now I just want to speak. I want to speak to those who are doubting OSAS. You can trust it. John 3 verse 16. Uh, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. If you believe in Jesus, you won't perish. It says you should not perish, but, or, but whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life, right? We won't perish. We'll have, we have the guarantee of everlasting life. Uh, I mean, John 5 verse 24 is another great one. I'll pop it up now. Um, but these are biblical truths that we can hold on to, guys. You know, last year, even though I wasn't saved, I doubted OSS because many people kept saying it's of the devil, it's a lie, it's sent by Satan in the last days, and it's 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 an error teaching, whatever. And it's been going on even when I wasn't a believer in Jesus Christ, Christian. But the point is this: Jesus gives us eternal life. We're sealed with the Holy Spirit, sealed. Okay, it says that we, we, we are no more condemned for God sent his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. John three seventeen. no more condemnation to them which are in Christ, not who walk not according to this, to walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. I hope I get that correct. But even if you don't walk after the spirit a lot, right, you're still saved because once you believe you're saved, our salvation is not dependent on us. Right, for by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, uh, not of works, as any man should boast. It is a gift, the gift is free. And listen to this, you know, it's not of works, whatever work you do. So some people know, okay, it's not my good works that get me in, but what are my bad works? Well, everything is a work, well, you know, it's not of works, let's say it like that. So if you sin, that's a bad work. If you help someone, that's a good work. But your salvation is not based on your works. It's based on Christ. Christ died. He died for us. And when we believe in him, we have eternal life. It's the simplicity in Christ. We don't frustrate the grace of God. It's so simple and so beautiful. So if you died in OSS, you can trust it. People say that people who preach OSS are trying to get you to sin. No, we just want to be secure in Jesus. Now that's all anybody wants. All anybody wants is to be secure in the Savior. You can believe the promises. Of Jesus Christ. If he says, believe in me, you have eternal life. John 6 verse 47. Jesus says, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. Why, what? He's saying you have, hath, you could say have, you have it. And you could trust in Jesus. He loves you and I do too. Don't let these men lie to you into works.